Hello friends, welcome to Adobe Flash video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing text tool available in the toolbar. We understood the text engine, text type and text orientation. Here I select text engine, classic text, text type, static text, text orientation, horizontal. I click and drag to create a fixed width text box and I hit Ctrl V to paste the content. You can see that I have pasted the content. Adobe Flash is a vector based animation software. Adobe Animate is the latest version of Adobe Flash. It is the H2O of Animator. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss character and paragraph formatting related properties. First we have font family. It allows us to set font family. Font style allows us to set font style. Size allows us to set font size. Letter spacing allows us to set space between letters. Color allows us to set font color. Let's see that. Let me select this content and say Bernard MT condensed. You can see that the font is changed. I change the font family to Broadway. You can see that the font is changed, right? So that is how you can change the font family guys or set the font family. Depending upon the font family that you select, you see here font style. At present, the font style is disabled because the Broadway font family does not support any font styles. So what I do here, I select the content and say Arial and hit enter. You can see that the font is changed. Arial supports different font styles. It supports italic font. It supports bold. It supports black. It supports bold and italic. So you can choose here font style guys. Next we can change the font size. I can type here directly the font size like 32 and hit enter. You can see that the font size is increased. I say here maybe 18 hit enter. You can see that the font size is changed. Let me set it to 24 and hit enter. So that is how you can change the font size. Next we can increase or decrease the letter spacing. At present it is set to 3. You can see that if I click and drag I can increase the space between letters and decrease the space between letters right let me set this to 3 and hit enter next we can change the font color here at present the font color is red you can see that i select the content and change the font color to blue and click outside you see that the font color is changed to blue i select the content and change the font color to black and click outside you can see that the font color is changed to black so that is how you can change the font family font style font size, letter spacing and font color guys. Next we have anti-alias. Anti-alias lists font rendering methods. Anti-alias allows us to control smoothing of jagged edges. Anti-alias allows us to control smoothing of jagged edges guys. What is that? Let me go back to Adobe Flash. I select the zoom tool and click and drag on the animator text here. You see that I have zoomed the content. If you carefully observe the edges of the content, you see jagged edges, right? You see little bit jagged edges. If I change the anti-alias from use device fonts to bitmap text no anti-alias, you see more jagged edges, right? So if you want to get smooth edges, what you need to do is you select anti-alias for animation. You can select anti-alias for readability. Anti-alias for readability is more smoother than anti-alias for animation. If you select bitmap text, no anti-alias, you see more jagged edges. You can use device fonts. If you are creating a game, then you can choose use device fonts. If you are creating animation, then you should choose anti-alias for animation. If you are creating content for website, then you can choose anti-alias for readability. So at present, I choose use device fonts. Okay. Next we have selectable button. Selectable button makes the content selectable in the output file. If I go back here, hit Ctrl Enter, I cannot select the content here. User cannot select the content guys. Close this. If I enable the selectable button and hit Ctrl Enter, now user can select the content, copy and use. So that's what the selectable button does guys. We also have show border around the text. It displays border around the text guys. So if you want to display border around the text, you will be using this toggle button show border around the text. Static text does not support the border. So we can change it 
to dynamic text right if i hit control enter at present our content has no border right i close this and i click on show border around the text and i hit control enter you see that now it displays the border around the content while using the input text i'll be using this show border around the text toggle button because it displays a border around the input text box guys so that is how you can change the text type i hope you guys have clearly understood let's understand now superscript and subscript toggle buttons note superscript and subscript toggle buttons are not applicable for use device fonts so here let me change anti alias from use device fonts to anti alias for animation i say not now and then i select here text type to static you can see that superscript and uh, subscript buttons are enabled i go here and say fit in a window superscript allows us to display selected text little bit up subscript allows us to display selected text little bit down guys let me go back here i select the text tool and select this two two should be little bit down right if i click on subscript button you see that two is pushed down if i disable it will be normal if i click on superscript toggle button the two will be pushed up actually the two should be down right it should be subscripted so i disable the superscript button enable the subscript button so that is how you can use the superscript and subscript toggle buttons guys let's understand paragraph related formatting properties first we have format it allows us to align content to the left center right or justify so i select the content i align it to center align it to right and align justify align left align center align right and align justify next we have spacing spacing allows us to indent the first line of the paragraph so here we have align first line of the paragraph so we can indent the first line of the paragraph guys right next we have line spacing it allows us to increase or decrease the space between line guys so we can increase the space between lines increase or decrease the space between lines here next we have margins margins allows us to set left and right margin so we can increase the left margin space and the right margin space here i click and drag to increase the left margin i click and drag to increase the right margin so that is all about character and paragraph formatting properties guys i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly try using the character and paragraph formatting related properties in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about text tool for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank you.